Well, good evening, everybody. Welcome back to Mohawk Motors. My name is Jason, and uh, today I want to do, I'm not going to call this a public service announcement, but I, I think it's just a good reminder for everybody as we're getting into the traveling season, summertime, you know, people are going on vacation, they're going on weekend trips, they're just moving around more during the day because it's nice outside and we want to do things. So I keep seeing a bunch of angry rants and, and people just upset posting videos on the internet about gas station etiquette. And I'm sure there are several versions of what people think proper or acceptable gas station etiquette is, but spouting off in an angry rant in the heat of the moment is not the way to do it for people. So I'm hoping sharing a video with what I believe is gas station etiquette that will let everybody move through, do what they need to do and not be held up or jammed up or waiting on other people who aren't thinking about what's going on around them or just don't realize what the real situation is. Maybe this will help and we can all just cut a little bit of frustration out of our summertime travel. So I'm on my way to the gas station. I gotta fill up my cans for the mower and this truck needs gas in it. And uh, you know, while we're there, I'll show you part of what I see people getting frustrated about and what I think a lot of people don't realize. And then we'll just go from there. All right, everybody. So I'm at the at my preferred gas station locally. It's a Sheets, and uh, I want to show something that this is what I think a lot of people don't realize when they're at the gas station about the gas station, etc. Now this is the Sheets. Like I said, it's a pretty big one. This one has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pump islands. Eight pump islands. 16 pumps total now of all eight of those this is the only island that has diesel fuel it does have it on both sides so there are two diesel fuel pumps out of 16 total fuel pumps here uh, you do the math but obviously that's a small percentage right so if you have a diesel vehicle this pump and the pump next to it are the only ones that you can get diesel fuel at any other pump you can buy your gas your e85 whatever it may be but this is the only two pumps that have diesel fuel and what i see a ton of people getting upset about and ranting and raving and everything else going on and on about is people that are blocking the diesel fuel pumps with a non-diesel vehicle and i'm not notice i say blocking they're not there pumping their gas they're there their vehicle is parked or just sitting there blocking the pump and I think that's where a lot of people get frustrated and that's part of what I want to talk about and what I think is important because maybe people just don't know and they don't realize the impact they're having on other people all right guys so I finished pumping my fuel my gas and I've moved over here into the shade and the parking spaces I've got parking spaces over here there's parking spaces over here there's parking spaces over there it's parking spaces in front of the store there's a ton of parking spaces, and I know not all gas stations have this many parking spaces, but most gas stations have some parking spaces. And that brings me to my one of my first major points on gas station etiquette. The pumps are not parking spaces. The pumps are there to get fuel. Now I'm not saying that you can't run into the store while your fuel is pumping, grab your Mountain Dew or bottle of water or whatever the case may be, come back out, finish pumping your gas, and then go on with your day. But what I am saying is, once your fuel purchase is complete, if you have more shopping to do, find somewhere else to park your vehicle. Like I said, most gas stations have plenty of parking spaces or even just a spot where you can move your vehicle out of the way. A big gas station like this, right now it's slow, but I've been here on days and every single pump is occupied and there are people waiting to pump their fuel. You know, if you're at a big spot like this and there's 15 pumps open, by all means, leave your car there while you go in and grab your soda. 
But if there are people there and it's a busy place and there aren't enough pumps to service everybody, then please move your vehicle away from the pump so the next person can get in and buy their fuel. That brings us to the, uh, the big gripe, the one that I see people getting super upset about and posting ranting, raving videos and cussing at each other. And heck, I can tell you from experience, I was here a couple weeks ago on our way out of town and sat waiting at the diesel fuel pump at this gas station. Both diesel fuel pumps, one had a Honda Accord and the other had a Toyota Tacoma parked in front of them. No, no drivers to be found anywhere. And we sat there and waited for 10 or so minutes before finally someone came back out of the store, pumped their gas, which was like, I'd say it took them a minute and a half to actually pump the gas. And then finally get out of the way of blocking the diesel fuel pump. And I see all the time when people post a video like that or, and people come in the comments and they're like, just wait your turn and just wait your turn. And like, you know, I didn't have a choice. I waited my turn. But at the same time, there are 14 pumps here that pump gasoline. I'd say there were half of them were open and available. But those people spent 10 to 15 minutes in the store doing whatever it is they're doing, blocking the only two diesel fuel pumps in this station, which held us up. And it's, I, I don't mind waiting while you're pumping your diesel fuel or pumping your gas or doing whatever it is business you need to do there at the pump. But once you're done, it's time to move out of the way so the people who don't have 16 pumps to choose from can get in and get their, get what they need and get on with their day. All right guys, so I don't have anywhere that I need to rush to this morning. So I've just been taking a few minutes to chill here in the shade, watch the goings on here at the gas station and see how people are doing, what's what people are making moves with and whatnot and so forth. And, uh, you know, it, it seems like the majority of people uh, are doing things in consideration of the people around them, right? You know, if somebody pulls up to the diesel fuel pump, like right now there's, I don't know what vehicle this is, but it definitely doesn't appear to be or sound like a diesel vehicle. She's pulled up at one of the diesel fuel pumps. Hopefully she'll pump her gas and then finish pumping, go on with her day. Free up that space so someone else can come and get their diesel fuel if they need it. I think where the, God damn it, this is really. All right guys, so I've been sitting here for a few minutes, just watching the goings on here at the gas station to see like, is the experience that I'm seeing people posting videos of being angry that the fuel pumps are blocked, the experience that I've had on occasion. Like most of the time I don't have any problems, but here and there, man, it really boils my blood. But uh, is that the normal or is are those the outliers? And I'll tell you, for the most part, it seems to be the outliers. Most of what I've seen going on here, people are coming in, they're getting their fuel, their diesel fuel, their gas, whatever the case may be. And they're moving their car to a parking space to go in the store and do whatever they need to do. Or, you know, to make a phone call or whatever the case may be. It's, I don't see a lot of people here that are just leaving their vehicle parked at the pump. Uh, and that's the big thing. Like, the pumps are for pumping. They are not parking spaces. When you've finished pumping your fuel if you have other business to conduct in the store or to go use the bathroom or whatever the case may be please move your vehicle to a parking space so that someone else can use and access the pump right um i don't think people do it maliciously i think it's probably just people have never been taught or told or just haven't considered the other people around them who need access to the pump. You know, maybe somebody's trying to get to work on time. Maybe somebody's there. They have limited options in pumps that they can get what they need from. Uh, and maybe somebody is just they're They're pulling a trailer and they can't maneuver to another pump and you've got the one that they can access blocked off. So there's lots of reasons 
and in my experience, gas stations with stores have plenty of parking spaces for that reason. So I don't think it's malicious. I don't think people are doing it to be rude or to intentionally hold other people up. I think it's just a lack of knowledge. They've never been taught or they've never experienced that scenario. They've never pulled a truck with a trailer that could only access the pumps on the end. They've never driven a vehicle that only can use a certain type of fuel that isn't dispensed at every pump. So I think this summer and really in all your travels going forward, let's all just help each other out and consider the people around us and what their needs may be when we're conducting our business at the gas station. Pump your fuel, move your vehicle. If you have other business to conduct, there's plenty of parking spaces where you can go do that. So I think that's it for this one, team. Thanks a lot for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Don't block the pump. Until the next video, take care.